can you tell me what is actually going on up in space right now? Are we all about to die? No, I mean, the headline of this thing is probably the most frightening aspect of it, like billionaire points rocket at the moon or something like that, right? That's what you might read from this thing. Sure. But it's actually, yeah. it's, it's not that scary. So what it is, is there's an upper stage of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Um, it took off from Cape Canaveral like nearly seven years back now, back in like February 2015. And it was carrying um, like a the Deep Space Climate Observatory. And what it was going to do is deposit this at a safe point like a Lagrange point, a stable point gravitationally between the Earth and the Sun. Um, usually these Falcon 9 rockets, they kind of fly close enough to the Earth to burn up in our atmosphere on the way back. But this thing ran out of fuel kind of somewhere between the Earth and the Earth and the Moon and the Earth and the Moon system is what scientists call it. So okay. it's just been like orbiting around us and now it's finally decided to crash into the Moon. It's going to land potentially in like five weeks time they've narrowed it down to march the 4th <laughs> well that's a that's a fun uh, date to look forward to but so i mean obviously it's better to crash into the moon than the earth right oh uh, well i i guess so i mean you'd be leaving more rubbish behind like bait like or, or like junk i guess is the americanism yeah. right we yeah exactly um, okay I'll, I'll talk american this you're leaving more junk behind but the the thing around that is it's like it it, if it comes to the earth oftentimes it will burn up like you might occasionally as in the case in the past get like certain bits of debris that land and end up hitting like villages and stuff like that that's, that's happened but nine times out of ten most of it burns up if it's on the moon it will just kind of be preserved there one reason why scientists kind of are excited about it landing on the moon is we might get to see what's underneath the surface of the moon if it hits it hard enough to make it go out. And it's going to hit it pretty hard. It's like going to be traveling at 5,700 miles per hour when this thing hits the moon. Wait, so like, is it going to hit it hard enough to like do anything? I mean, like, yeah, what will it do to the moon? Yeah, okay, good question. Um, This isn't the first time we fired things into the moon. So we fired things into the moon in the past. Like we fired things into the south pole of the moon, for instance, there's a, there was a program called LCROSS um, which was a NASA program back in 2009. They fired it into the South Pole of the Moon to see like all of the water and ice that would be underneath it to really tell if there's a uh, like, significant amount of ice there. There was. Um, they've also, like way back during the Apollo programs, Saturn V upper stage rockets were like shot into the moon as well. It's just a safe way of discarding them. When this thing hits the moon, the worst damage it will do will leave a crater, like a, a big enough crater to throw up some stuff from the, un, underneath the surface of the moon, but it's not going to like break the moon or say push it into the earth or anything else that you might see from any disaster movie. I mean, Moonfall is about to come out, so I'm a little skeptical. So we'll see. Um, so can you uh, tell me actually what this rocket was originally for? Like, I know you you mentioned uh, the program, but I'm I guess I'm like a little curious exactly what perhaps. Yeah. So back in 2015, the rocket was sent into space carrying um, the acronym is DISCOVER, but it's the Deep Space Climate Observatory. Mm -hmm. And it was a basically it was a, a joint NASA and NOAA program that was really it's, it's a, a satellite that was sent into space in order to look at solar flares looking towards the sun, but to also look back at the Earth and to kind of detect all manner of things about our climate and weather systems that might be useful for scientists to know. Uh, so it was there basically to deposit that at some stable point called a Lagrange point between the Earth and the sun's orbits. Mm -hmm. um, Discover still like, you know, ticking along nicely up there, but the upper stage of the rocket di didn't. It fell back down and twisted around space. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. So this is a SpaceX rocket. But yeah discovers out there yeah from noah from nasa everybody's on the same page we're not freaking out this yeah. isn't that big of a deal they're just fyi something's gonna hit the moon and we get to see what's underneath the moon yeah exactly that's, so that's LDR. yeah there, there are there are plenty of astrophysicists who've come out and kind of um allayed our fears that this might be a problem saying it's not a big deal this thing has happened before um it hasn't caused any significant problems to the moon Maybe it's just le left some litter up there that one day we might clean up. I don't know. Space junk, then. Space junk. Space junk. Okay. Okay.